people are bringing safe across the business. If IT is mostly agile or getting better and the rest of the organization, bottlenecks in legal, if you hit bottlenecks in marketing, you hit bottlenecks in sales. If you don't integrate with sales in such a way that they know how to provide incremental solutions to their customers without destroying their SLAs and all the other things that their customers depend on, you're only going to go so far. So what we're starting to see here is people pulling safe into the business and providing training strategies and implementations of agility throughout the enterprise because the need is there. Is there some rule that says agile is just an IT thing? No, agile is about a business's ability to, to respond to change. And we're describing now five patterns that we've witnessed, that we've coached, that we've implemented. And these are kind of different patterns. For example, in response to COVID, they said, we don't have time to you know, stand up in art and figure out who's in the business going to do that and build all these interfaces. Let's put a couple hundred people together in a room right now and figure it out how to deliver COVID vaccine faster. So within about 60 days of that, they were delivering COVID vaccines and they weren't, oh, we're an agile release train and we're the business. You could not tell the difference. We were people delivering value. And it didn't matter if you were a developer or if you were a clinician or if you were somebody in charge of distribution, it was all one effort. But these are other building blocks and modules that if you want your enterprise to grow in an agile and extended agile way, here's some tools for you. Each of these has guidance on how to build business-enabled arts and how to build combined portfolios and agile business functions as well. 